first thing we got to have is all of these niggers and all of these dagos that come in here to take our jobs thrown out of the mine. Mine's hell. They got them in our houses. They're sitting at our tables right now, and they're sleeping in our beds while we're out living under a piece of canvas at the back of the holler. I've been a union man my whole life. I know the story with these coal operators and their gun thugs. The only thing they understand is the bad end of a bullet. And if we show them, we just as soon blow up their damn minds and seen them work by a bunch of scabs, but then they gonna listen. Someone's coming. Here, tell us. We got someone. Where'd you find him? He come right up on the steps. They told me to see Eli that this is where the union men's meet. So? I got business with the union. That's so. What's your name, son? They calls me Few Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come here looking for no trouble. The men's got to eat. Someone's go eat? Back where you come from. They told me that they was jobs, you know. Go home, nigger. Goddamn scab. You what, Joe Mop Peckerwood? I been called nigger, and I can't help that the way white folks is, but I ain't never been called no scab. And I ain't fixing to start up now. I go ton for ton loading coal with any man here. And when I do, I expect the same dollar for the same work. You'd have this holler alive, son. You'd be doing good for yourself. <laughs> Union men, my ass. You won't be treated like men. You won't be treated fair. Well, you ain't men to that coal company. Your equipment, like a shovel, a gondola car, a hunk of wood brake. They'll use you until you wear out or you break down or you're buried under a slate fall, and then they'll get a new one. And they don't care what color it is or where it comes from. It doesn't matter how much coal you can load or how long your family has lived on this land. If you stand alone, you're just so much shit to those people. You think this man is your enemy? Huh? This is a worker. Any union keeps this man out ain't a union. It's a goddamn club. Now, they got you fighting white against colored, native against foreign, holler against holler. When you know there ain't but two sides of this world, them that work and them that don't. You work, they don't. That's all you got to know about the enemy. You say you got guns. Well, I know that you all are brave men. And I know you could shoot it out with the company if you had to. But the coal company don't want this union. The state government don't want it. The federal government don't want it. And they're all of them just waiting for an excuse to come down and crush us to nothing. Fellas, we're in a hole full of coal gas here. The tiniest spark at the wrong time is going to be the end of us. So we got to pick away at this situation, slow and careful. We got to organize and build support. We got to work together, together, till they can't get their coal out of the ground without us because we're a union, because we're the workers, damn it, and we take care of each other. How can we shut the mines down if we don't dynamite them? 
The men walked out. All of them. Fat chance. And every man that walks out on his own steam, we take into the Union. All the day goes and all the colors. That's what a union is, fellas. You better get used to it. 